The circular scheme or plan brings each district closer to the central dome, which contains the medical, food, shopping, everything else that people need. The circular arrangement makes it easier to operate using far less energy than any other system. And if you start at one end of the city and go through the city, you always return to the same place. Whereas in a linear city, you go to one end, you have to backtrack to get to the same point. So the circular scheme is by far the most efficient. And when cities are contracted in the future, they will be contracted as a whole, as an entire system. In that way, all of the parts and components would be delivered in stages. Like sequel one will be the underground, the heating system, the electric generators, the piping systems, the recycling systems. Then after that, the next layer, which would serve as the first layer that contains the architecture, the foundations for all the buildings, and after that, the erection of structures up from the foundations. Starting with the central portion of the city, working its way out to the different radial sectors, and then out to the final housing sectors, and then to the agricultural belt, and then to the recreation areas. The cities themselves are prefabricated. Most of the elements that comprise the structures of the cities are interchangeable, interlocking. They are designed so they can be disassembled just as they were assembled. So the new cities will be updated continuously. As the waters are piped into the cities, they are checked. And to whatever extent contamination exists, the water processing plants evaporate the water, recondense it, and cleanse it. In other words, all waters piped into the city will be monitored constantly, not by a monitoring system, but several monitoring systems. The same is true of the air above and around the city. It's constantly monitored. All of the rooftops are photovoltaic. All of the skin, outer skin of the building, converts solar radiation into electrical energy. As we move beyond the third sector, we come to tennis courts, parks. Beyond that is a residential district, which consists of lakes, waterfalls, all kinds of beautiful plants throughout the area. And each house is concealed by plants, so you can't see another building. Some people prefer, as in the next sector, to live in apartment houses. The apartments have drama groups, recreation, swimming pools, discussion groups, and so many other facilities. The disadvantage of living in a private home is you would have to go to the various places to access the same things. Instead of motor vehicles in the city, all transportation is carried on by circular conveyors that we call transveyors. They move radially, circumferentially, and vertically. They serve the function of elevators, buses, conveyors. But if you wish to go to another city, you can take an elevator down beneath the central dome, which has maglev trains, etc., that will transport you to the center of any other city or any other region. There will be no waste products. Just as in nature, there are no waste products. All materials that we would formally call waste would be recycled and converted into new products. And that when the city hits a certain number of people, we stop the development and let everything go back to nature between this and the next city. It doesn't mean that we can solve all the problems. We can just design and build a far better environment to advance all human beings.